positioned in a hospital lobby with none of his own clothes and no phone to call his family for help. The elderly man says he was recovering from surgery when suddenly he was taken out of his room and discharged. WBZ's Beth Germano is live with us in studio tonight. And Beth, this is a really scary situation for any family. It is, David, because the patient says he was essentially kicked out of the hospital, and it was hours before his family was expecting his discharge. They're not arguing with the care he received after a heart attack, but call his release humiliating. Good afternoon. These days, it is slow going for 80-year-old Alan Ramsland, with a history of heart issues relying on a walker. He's home after a 24-hour stay at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center to receive a stent. But it's the way he was discharged that has his family outraged. You got to get dressed. You get down the hall. I, say, I don't have any clothes. Well, you're gonna we go down there and wait. He says that was the abrupt order from the nurse that he be taken to the lobby to wait for his ride home. He had no clothes because he had been transferred from another hospital. One in the front and one in the back. He wrapped himself in a couple of Johnnies, and his family says he was left alone and confused until his daughter Charlotte, who lives an hour away, finally arrived. I had some kind of pride, and I didn't have much on for clothes. Someone should have been with him. Should have been with him. A nurse, or anybody, anybody should have watched over him. He can't walk. It's not very mobile. The family says his discharge papers were never signed. And the hospital didn't notify the family about his release as required by the CARE Act. It was a panicked phone call from Allen. His daughter Libby, a nurse herself, calls the experience demeaning. What happened was bad enough. With the medications that he is on, if he had fallen, it could have been deadly. They're speaking out so it doesn't happen to anyone else. I think if you're 80 or 25, you don't want to sit in a lobby in a Johnny waiting for a ride. I just think it's, it was poor judgment. And the hospital released a statement saying it's committed to treating patients with dignity and respect. And when concerns are raised, they do a full review. David and Lisa. Wow, that is some story. All right, Beth, thank you.